Certain foods are likely to lead to the accumulation of fat around your love handles as well as other common fat storage sites like your chest, belly, and hips. Meanwhile, other foods can help you easily reduce your calories without making you feel hungry, leading to sustainable fat loss over time. So today I want to give you guys 19 foods that you can incorporate into your diet to fill your stomach and satisfy your taste buds while burning that love handle fat and building muscle in the process. First, let's start with pasta, and specifically I'm talking about black bean and mung bean pasta. These are significantly lower in carbs and higher in protein than regular pasta. For example, two ounces of regular spaghetti will contain 42 grams of carbohydrates and only seven grams of protein. Meanwhile, the same two ounces of black bean pasta will provide only 19 grams of carbs, 11 of which will be in the form of filling fiber, and a whopping 25 grams of protein. The protein and the fiber from this black bean pasta will leave you feeling very full and satisfied, unlike like regular pasta which will quickly be converted into sugar and leave you feeling hungry. I also find it very important to include these comfort foods like pasta in your diet if you actually want to be able to stick to that diet for long enough to see those love handles disappear. So now that I've given you a fun food, let's talk about one of the most common high protein options for fat loss, chicken breast. And chicken breast is great because there are so many different and easy ways to eat it without even having to cook it yourself. For example, you can go around the deli section of your grocery store and find many pre-cooked options for chicken breast. These will likely include thin sliced chicken breast off the grill, buffalo chicken tenders, and of course rotisserie chicken. Having easy options is very important when trying to reduce your calories because when you're cutting calories, you're more likely to get hungry. And sometimes you don't have the time to cook and prep a meal. Pre-prepped chicken breast, even with the addition of buffalo sauce, is usually very low in calories and very high in protein. Of course, you can also just buy fresh chicken breast, season it right, maybe add some low calorie marinade and cook it on your own as well. Another thing that'll help is frozen vegetables. These are a staple part of my diet and I highly recommend you always have frozen vegetables in the freezer at home. You can buy pre-mixed stir fries, peppers, cut up onions, and pretty much whatever you need to make a delicious meal. When you buy fresh vegetables, there's once again much more prep time, making it a battle of willpower to just prep a healthy meal. On the other hand, with frozen vegetables, they're already cut up and ready to be thrown on a frying pan. With some seasoning and low calorie, high protein sauces like soy sauce, for example, you can make some delicious stir fries in under 10 minutes. Also, on a side note, many people believe that frozen vegetables aren't as nutritious as fresh vegetables, but that's actually not true. And there's even an argument to be made that frozen fruits and vegetables can be even more nutritious because they stop decomposing the moment that they're frozen. And speaking of frozen fruits, these can also help you reduce your calories along with your love handle fat. Specifically, I recommend you get a mixed berry option and keep it in your freezer. I personally like to take a cup, fill it with frozen berries, and then I eat them as they defrost. By eating them while they're still defrosting, it'll take you longer, making it feel like you're eating much more than you actually are, again, helping you to save calories. Either way, you don't have to eat these frozen because blueberries are naturally low in calories while also being very filling. Eating one or two cups of berries per day should only assist with fat loss. Next, let's move on to something that you can have alongside with your meal to take in significantly fewer calories, soup. Soup is very filling and it'll help you take in a lot more water, which will on its own help you reduce your appetite. You do of course want to choose the right type of soup, so make sure you stay away from the high fat creamy soups and instead go with a healthy soup full of vegetables alongside with a lean source of protein. An example would be chicken vegetable soup. I personally also enjoy to add black bean pasta into the soup as an alternative to chicken noodle soup. This alternative will have tons of fiber from the black bean pasta and veggies, and it'll also have tons of protein, making it very filling without costing many calories at all. Starting your meal with soup when you're feeling really hungry can help you quickly fill your stomach up, reducing hunger and subsequent calorie intake as well. Now, if you're craving something sweet and you're trying to get away from sweetened beverages, it's been proven that zero calorie diet beverages can really help. These include diet sodas, diet teas, diet lemonades, and much more. One or two bottles of diet soda will not harm you in any way, but it can help you save quite a bit of calories while satisfying your sweet tooth taste buds. The next high protein food that'll help you is eggs. One large egg will have a little under 80 calories with five grams of fat and six grams of protein. Studies show that having eggs for breakfast can help you save a substantial amount of calories for the rest of the day. This is probably because eggs are so filling and there are so many ways you can cook these for an easy and enjoyable meal. For example, if you get a muffin tray, combine beaten eggs with peppers, onions, mushrooms, and garlic, then season with some salt and pepper and throw it into the oven, you can enjoy delicious egg muffins. I can even enjoy eating these filling high protein muffins while they're cold. So 
If you do, like me, then you can take them with you anywhere. Another option that you can take anywhere is tuna, and I constantly preach about the flavored tuna packets on this channel. Aside from the fact that they're an easy option that can be ready to eat within a minute whenever you're starting to feel hungry, flavored tuna packets are actually really tasty as well. Just keep in mind some flavors will be slightly higher in calories than others. The ranch and hot buffalo flavors only contain 70 calories, and 60 of those calories are from the 15 grams of protein that are coming from the tuna. Now for 80 calories, you can get spicy Thai chili, deli style tuna salad and lemon pepper as well as some others but my favorite flavor is the sweet and spicy which only costs 90 calories and again is mostly made up of protein they all taste good if you haven't tried it yet try it next let's mention a filling carbohydrate that also has a decent amount of protein oats oats have been recommended as a healthy food for weight loss for generations but many people nowadays associate all carbohydrates with body fat even though that's completely not true Oats are extremely filling, they're full of vitamins, minerals, fiber, and antioxidants, and there can be plenty of room in your diet for healthy, single ingredient carbohydrates like oats. Especially if you consistently lift weights, which will drain and require replenishment of those glycogen stores within your muscles. Combining the oats with some berries, milk, and vanilla protein powder will give you a delicious, high protein, super filling meal. Another one of my favorite filling carbohydrates is potatoes. Potatoes are considered one of the most filling starchy carbohydrates and foods in general. This is why they perform so well in studies on satiety. When compared to 38 other foods, boiled potatoes outranked every single one in terms of how full participants felt after eating those foods. It even outranked high protein foods like white fish, beef, and eggs. Next, we might as well cover fish since I just brought it up. Some fish is higher in fat than others, like salmon for example, but salmon is still very good for fat loss. Specifically, wild caught salmon will have a higher concentration of omega-3 fish oils, it'll be higher in protein and lower in fat. So wild caught salmon will be better than farm raised in terms of saving you calories and providing additional health benefits. Other options that are great for fat loss include mahi-mahi, catfish, whitening fish, and flounder, as they're all very low in calories and very high in protein. Another high protein seafood option is shrimp. Making delicious tasting shrimp takes just a few minutes, especially if you get the pre-cooked, peeled, and deveined variety. You can take these shrimp, defrost them in some running cold water, and then throw them onto the frying pan for a minute or two with some soy sauce and garlic powder. That's all you need to make shrimp taste amazing. The best part is shrimp is naturally high in protein, providing close to 20 grams in just three ounces, and that gives you a little more than 80 calories. Moving on, we have popcorn, which is one of the best crunchy snack options available if you're trying to burn fat. The reason why popcorn is so much better than other crunchy snacks like chips and pretzels is that popcorn is very high in fiber while also having a very low calorie density. One cup of butterfree popcorn, for example, only has 30 calories. Obviously, the same can't be said for buttered popcorn, which can add almost three times the amount of calories in the form of fat. So instead of adding butter, feel free to add salt, and there are even some popcorn seasonings that you could buy like white cheddar seasoning. As long as you sprinkle a small amount, like a quarter of a teaspoon, it'll only add two calories along with a ton of flavor. Another awesome snack is Jack Link's Zero Sugar Beef Jerky. Beef jerky is very filling and high in protein, but some options like the teriyaki flavor have a good amount of additional sugar added in. That's why the best flavor for fat loss is the original zero sugar option. One serving contains 13 grams of protein, two grams of fat, and zero carbohydrates. If you eat the entire package, it'll only cost you 160 calories while providing you 30 grams of protein and only four and a half grams of fat. These macros are better than many of the high protein foods that we've already gone over. So this is really a great high protein option if you're looking for a snack. Next we have beef, and with beef, if you're not careful, you can take in a lot more calories than some of the other protein options that I've gone over so far. That's why the cut you choose is very important. Specifically, top round and bottom round will be less expensive and lower in calories than many other cuts. For example, four ounces of bottom round steak will contain about 160 calories made up of 25 grams of protein and six grams of fat. This is a great protein to fat ratio for a cut of beef. You can also get ground beef and just make sure that you go with the 93% lean or leaner option. This can be used to make patties, meatballs, stuffed peppers, and many more delicious tasting foods. Instead of beef, you can also get 93% lean ground chicken or turkey. Both of these stack up very similar to 93% ground beef with about 22 grams of protein, eight grams of fat, and about 160 calories in total for a four ounce portion. 
Once again, these can be used to make patties, meatballs, stir fries, and many other tasty options. The key is to mix in the right seasonings, which shouldn't be a problem since most seasonings are entirely calorie free. Another key weight loss food is, of course, salad. Specifically, salad can be used just like soup before you eat the main course to fill your stomach up. Salads made with spinach or kale instead of romaine lettuce can also provide a ton of additional vitamins and minerals that'll help you feel great. A typical lettuce salad with vegetables like tomatoes and carrots will only contain about 10 to 20 calories. Just be careful if you're adding oil because you can easily overdo it. Instead, if you want to be safe, maybe try some of the Walden Farms calorie-free salad dressings. Next, we have Icelandic yogurt, or you can just substitute just fine with regular Greek yogurt. Both will have higher amounts of protein than traditional yogurt brands, and they'll also have more favorable overall macros. Icelandic yogurt can contain as many as 17 to 18 grams of protein, while Greek yogurt usually caps out at around 14 to 15 grams tops. Either way, both can work as long as you're adding your own fruit. You don't want to buy it with the fruit already mixed in because there will also be additional sugar added without the filling fiber that you would get by adding the fruit on your own. Last but not least, we have another dairy option with an even better macro profile, cottage cheese. One cup of non-fat cottage cheese can contain 25 grams of protein and only 120 calories. It's basically almost entirely made up of protein, and even if you get the 1% milk fat, it just adds an additional 40 calories. Just like with the yogurt, you can mix your own fruit, but I recommend you avoid buying the ones with fruit already mixed in due to the added sugar. So that about wraps it up. I hope this video has given you a couple ideas that you can use to add more variety to your diet and finally reduce those love handles for good. It really is a process of creating a diet plan that you can stick to for long enough to finally be able to burn off those stubborn problem areas. If you're currently struggling with belly fat or love handle fat or other forms of stubborn fat and you want a done for you, streamlined process to get rid of it, try my free six week shred. It's essentially a free trial set up in such a way that gets you to stick to the plan, which is the key to being successful. If you simply follow your plan that'll be based on your personal preferences, you will lose a significant amount of weight and body fat. We know this because we've put over 20,000 people through our program and they've predictably and consistently have been able to hit their goals. So if you'd like to find out more, you can click the link below in the description or you can head straight on over to my website at gravitytransformation.com. I'll see you guys soon.